everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 Rounds of Boxing. Mike. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Luke and go. Well, you tell me. You know what both of these guys bring to the table. You see them in front of you. This fight's going to go the distance? No, I think it's kind of like walking outside your house and you see those dark storm clouds. You know it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Well, Tyson sees this just about every time he steps into the ring. He's up against a taller man. Yeah, but he also understands that once he starts getting close, guess what? That guy becomes a midget. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Nice. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Focus, focus. Keep moving, keep moving. Able to get rid of that one. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Up and down, side to side. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Good. All right. Freeze. Good. Good. Listen. You threw a wide punch out there. He caught you. I know. Tyson bounces back in his step. The start of a new round, coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before, and he's not panicking. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the flag. Carries the punch, comes back with the hook. Tyson's committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything, and he finds something coming back at him. Hooks to the head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the flash. Halfway through this round. Let it go. Let's move. Move your head. Come on, kid. Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Comes with the right. In and out, in and out. And he stays downstairs. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Tyson's attitude in that last round really paid off. You saw he was the much busier fighter. Whatever he misses, counter. You have to keep moving forwards, all right? Get close and throw some punches to the bottom. And round number three is underway. Nice 
two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Mike Tyson is easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control reins so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. One, two, one, two. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. And he's holding. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Mike Tyson's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Okay. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Come on, give both the Last 10 seconds of round number three. Scores up top with a left. Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Keep it up. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. Up top with a quick hook. The Flash's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Mike Tyson's hit by a right hand. Those wobbly legs of Mike Tyson have steadied. But now the question is whether or not his opponent has found something that will work, found something that will get those legs unsteady once again. What impact from that uppercut by the Flash. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Come on, kid, focus! Big shot, the left crashed home. Wake up! How about that exchange? Targeting that head with the combination punching. Tyson's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Ten seconds to go in this round. Accurate hook. The Flash has got to be pleased about what he was just able to accomplish in that last round. He stunned his opponent. You know, it gets me thinking he may be getting close to being able to put him down. Well, he's starting to find the range a little bit. And most importantly, he's in the distance that he needs to be to be able to do the things that he does well. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Good combination to the head. The Flash's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him.
Good flush shot upstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. Jump Teddy, is anything nice. going to change at this point? He keeps getting hit by right hands. Probably not. Let's be honest, Joe. This is a That's habit. It. This is a flaw that was with him in the gym, and it's still with him now. It's not going to change. 90 seconds to go here in this round. And now he scores well with a straight right. Now he ties up there. He just missed that shot up top. Jump on him. Nice. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Mike Tyson. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to Tyson's crush by a big left hand. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Oh, that's good yeah. stuff. Fire him right yeah. back with one of his own. Good work by the flash. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Tyson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Come on, kid, focus! Tyson's got a way of just getting away from that punch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Oh, and there you go. Mike Tyson smashed by a big uppercut. Come on, One, get to your feet. Two, three. Let's go, get up. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Tyson's jacked by an uppercut. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Nice work. He can't handle your speed. It's too much for him. You keep it up. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. The flash is out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Good block by Mike Tyson. Come on, kid. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Uppercut. Uppercut. Keep doing what you're doing. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the flash. In and out. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Side to side. Oh, 
off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Mike Tyson sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, and one threat you could compliment him for it, Joe. You could say he, he understands who he is. He understands his identity. He's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. He missed that uppercut. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Come on, kid, focus! A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Mike Tyson. Tyson so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. He missed with that headshot. Combination to the head, and that does it for this round. Come on, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You gotta move your hands again. Right? Let's go. Watch the water in the corner. Relax. I don't know what it was the past few rounds, but as we start this eighth round and I look at your scorecard, I think it's clear that you've got the right guy on top now. He started to pull away a bit. I know. Look, I don't know what it is either, but I know what it's not. It's not what he ate. It's not even the training regimen that he's been on. It's more about what he wants. And now it's time to get it. Come on! Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Keep your hands up. And showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Come on, kid, focus! Now hugging on the inside. Two snapping jabs by Mike Tyson. A headshot block. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Tyson's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Nice strike after catching one by the flash. Bro, this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> the Flash is in a tough spot right now. Big shot. He just went down. The end fighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Hit by a counter punch there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Back and 
fourth action. They're going at it. We're just halfway through this round, and this round feels like an epic. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Able to block and counter back. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Good exchange, he fires back. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Tyson's got such confidence there. Look at the corner, you can tell. They just know that this fight could go their way. Scored a knockdown, now they have momentum. Come on, finish with a hook. And now they start round number 10. The flash is coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now what he's got to do is buy some time. you got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything, you can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round, get your head clear. You're going to win the other round. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Scores with the combo to the head. Mike Tyson's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch by Mike Tyson. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the flash. Tried the hook, didn't get it. a shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores what a great job he gave one right back in return nice work by the flash here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand Little volume punching to the body there. And that's the end of round 10. Don't stand in front of him. You don't have to slug it out with him. You're gonna tire yourself out. Pick your shot. A look over at Teddy's scorecard to start this 11th round. Mike Tyson's enjoying a slight piercing left hand by the flag. There it is! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He's tight. He's oh, that's got to hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. The flesh is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, by, by knockout, knockout, your winner,
late in the fight, and it looked like we were going to get a decision out of this. Tyson's power makes it a knockout. Reminiscent of some of the great late knockout fights in the history of this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.